The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have agreed to star in a fly-on-the-wall Netflix reality show with cameras following them for three months. That's according to reports in The Sun this morning. It's claimed they want to give people a glimpse into their lives and see all the charity work that Susanna's they Susanna's described this as the tipping point in I'm afraid... her deep providing love and support for Meghan Markle. Uh, I would say it's entirely in keeping with the hypocrisy of both of Meghan and Harry. Uh, since they announced they were leaving the royal family. They want to have their royal cake and eat it, is my position. Uh, this all comes as a couple have apparently uh, been accused by senior royal aides of breaking the terms, breaking the terms of their Megxit deal with the Queen by commenting on the US election. So, anyway. have Harry and Meghan gone too far for you and should they now be stripped of their royal titles? Joining us now, royal biographer and uh, author and editor of Majesty magazine, Ingrid Seward, who says stripping Harry and Meghan of titles won't accomplish anything. And Norman Baker, who's a former MP and author of And What Do You Do, What the Royal Family Don't Want You To Know, who believes the pair should be stripped of their titles as they're using them for their own advantage. Good morning to you both. Norman Baker, I would say to you first, I mean, I, I think, probably like Ingrid, it doesn't matter if they're the Duke of Duchess, because, frankly, they have established themselves now over in America. Harry and Meghan, as names, are big enough to command the kind of attention and income that they want. So what does the royal titles have to do with anything? It's a practical point, first of all, which is that if he keeps his HRH title, he's still eligible for public support to the taxpayer. That means, for example, we're paying probably up to a million pounds a year for security personnel to wander around Frogmore Cottage and keep it safe. And we'll pay for his travel if he comes back to the UK. So there's a practical point. But more than that, uh, HRH means he's representing Britain abroad. Uh, and he's not representing Britain abroad. He's clearly divorced himself from the royal family in practical terms, but not in titular terms. And let's be frank about this. Netflix wouldn't be offering uh, a huge deal to um, Harry because of his interesting views. They're offering an interesting deal because of his connections with the royal family, yes, which he therefore Norman is... Baker, those connections don't cease once you take away their titles. I mean, he is still the Queen's grandson. He is still royal by birth. He still has all of that cachet, and so does she, by marriage. The royal titles well, don't confer that on them. Uh, well, they do, actually, if I may say so, because if you take a, another example from Princess Anne's children, uh, Peter Phillips uh, is, is capable of running commercial businesses across the world and doesn't use HRA title. He hasn't got one, and there's not, not a problem particularly with him, except when he seeks to uh, exploit the Buckingham Palace connection. Um, Harry clearly is exploiting the Buckingham Palace connection and the fact is he has to make up his mind, is he in the royal family or isn't he? If he wants to run away and do Netflix documentaries, that's fine as a private individual, but not when he keeps his HRH title. Yeah, his well, mother, of course... Sure. I mean, let's get to what their titles actually are, because I found them for a Daily Mail column I did. Uh, Harry, for <laughs> example, remains a Prince of the United Kingdom, His Royal Highness Prince Henry of Wales, the Duke of Sussex, the Earl of Dumbarton and Baron Kilkeel. Meghan uh, remains a princess of the United Kingdom, Her Royal Highness the Duchess of Sussex, <laughs> Countess of Dumbarton and Baroness Kilkeel. Now, I'm uh, a, you know, a man who grew up in Sussex, has a house in Sussex. That I've spent more time in Sussex in the last week, <laughs> about three hours, than they have in their collective lifetimes. They have nothing to do with the county that I uh, revere. Uh, but more importantly, their only value for people like Netflix is because of the royal connection. It's because they're actually still HRH. They've said they won't use that publicly, but they still are HRH. Uh, they're still the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. And when they made that incredibly insufferable, pompous statement uh, for the Time 100, they were announced by Time as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Uh, their website is sussexroyal.com. Uh, and it says in there, it's the official website of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Now, the problem with all this is that... They want to have, as I said earlier, their royal cake and eat it. They want to trade off the royal titles and the royal name uh, to make vast amounts of money, which is what they're now doing. But surely that is completely... And you've covered the royals for a long time. Completely inconsistent with what we would expect from our royals. Well, the, the title was uh, a gift of the Queen on their wedding day to... Her, you know, one of her favourite grandchildren, and to his, to his, his future wife or his wife to be, and 
it's really something that it would be very churlish, I feel, for her uh, to say they can't have this title anymore. Everybody knows that knows them as Harry and Meghan. And yes, I totally agree with everything you say about their trading off their royal connections, but that's who they are. Harry is a prince of the blood. And you can't take that away from him. See, and I, so the, I think I that's the point, actually, Ingrid. They don't become take any your, less you can, royal you can't take away his blood, as sort private of a, individuals. Well, sort of a transfusion. He can't take his blood away, I agree. However, however, <laughs> he has made it crystal clear now that not only does he want to sever all links with this country, but he now wants to poke his royal nose into politics in America and effectively advocate for a candidate to beat Donald Trump. That's what he did in that, in that video they made. That, again, crosses every line of the royal family. They're not supposed to be anything but uh, but completely impartial when it comes to politics. And that's important, Ingrid, because the monarchy relies on its neutrality for its popularity. Yes, I agree with you again. I keep agreeing with you, but the point, we are talking about stripping them of their titles. Yeah. And now the other thing, remember that the, the queen is, you know, a very religious woman. She's very forgiving. Um, she doesn't want to upset uh, America. They tried so hard, the royal family have tried so hard over so many years to have America as an ally. And I just think it would be the wrong thing to do. And it is only within her power. She's the only person that can do it. But remember, they've got a sort of review, if you like, um, coming up in the spring of next year, because the Queen said, look, mm. you go very generous. She said, you go, you do your own thing, and we will review the situation in a year. Well, that's exactly what's going to happen. And if anything is going to happen about the removal of their titles, it, w it won't happen until March next year. You know what, Whatever. Norm, yeah, OK, let's bring, <laughs> let me bring in Norman again. Um, Norman Baker, I mean, they, you know, they, they collaborated. They say they didn't, but they obviously did. They collaborated with this book, Finding Freedom. It's all been about finding their freedom from the appalling, restrictive royal family and the dreadful racist media in the country, all this kind of nonsense. Um, but this freedom, actually, what it really means is they want the freedom not to be private people, as they kept telling us. We now hear they're making a reality programme over three months of 24-7 cameras into their lives. That's not about finding privacy. They've signed a $150 million reported figure deal with Netflix only because they're royals. That's why they're having to do the, the Fire on the Wall documentary. Nobody gives a stuff about their eco-warrior, yeah. hypocritical nonsense that they spew all the time. They want to have the royal access. Netflix want to do the Duke and Duchess of Sussex at home in their mansion okay. in Santa Barbara. Of course, that's exactly what the situation is. They want the coverage. They don't want the hassle. Uh, they want the privacy when they decide they need privacy, and they want to have lots of exposure when they want lots of exposure. But I can just go back on Ingrid on one point. Uh, the Queen, of course, can take away this title because it was taken away from Harry's mother. Uh, when divorce came through with Prince Charles, Charles spitefully ensured that Diana was no longer HRH, so there is a precedence for this. There is a precedent. I mean, Ingrid, we did a poll on Good Morning Britain, whether they should be stripped. We had a big response. 10,000 Seven... people voted. Right. That's a lot for one of our votes, and 74% of the Good Morning Britain viewers think Prince Harry and Meghan should have their title stripped. Only 26% think they shouldn't. I saw similar polls with very similar results coming out at the end of last week. The British public are not having this. I think they've, they've had the, the, the wool taken off their eyes about particularly Meghan Markle. And, and I suppose there's a wider issue here, Ingrid. I actually think many people feel quite sad about what's happening with Prince Harry. You know, they see him... You know, I was joking earlier, and we've got a little clip here. They remind me of an old comedy puppet duo of... Do you remember Lord Charles with Ray Allen? Let's take a little look. Well, I, I have to, to hold my mouth like that. Do it. <laughs> I, 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 it's, see, it's me. he can move his mouth. But I can't move, right? I'm sorry, but when I see these hostage videos that Harry does, uh, I re I'm reminded of Lord Charles, that Meghan's out there holding him like, like a puppet. And, in fact, he's even one removed from Lord Charles. He's the, he's the dimwit at the end, just nodding along, saying whatever she tells him to say. It's embarrassing. And not just for him, but also for his grandmother. And his grandfather. Now, I've just written a book about his grandfather, and Philip gave up everything absolutely everything that he loved and wanted to do, like being in the Royal Navy, for the sake of the monarchy and to support 
his wife who who became queen. And his view is that, um, you know, if you've got a sense of duty, if you don't have a sense of duty, that there is absolutely no point in being part of the monarchy. But yeah. Harry is part of the monarchy by his birth. Yeah. And I think that his grandfather's extremely disappointed uh, with his, his lack of duty. I mean, surely, surely Meghan could have supported him in his role as, as a prince. I don't think she I mean, had any... I, honestly, I don't think she had any intention of doing anything other than what she's now done, which is come here, marry our favourite handsome prince, take him back to California, buy a massive mansion, do a huge TV deal, make herself one of the biggest stars in the world... And potentially and, run for president. ..and have Harry left sitting there like a dummy, you know, just spouting whatever she tells him to spout. And it's just a sad spectacle. Anyway, we've got to leave it there. Uh, Ingrid and Norman, thank you both very much indeed. Thank you both. Uh, I, I let us don't know what you think, think about... I don't you think, think... Maybe I'm wrong about this. Maybe I I'm wrong about Meghan all the time. I there are... There is any point in stripping them of the titles. I think they've already got that reputation, that royal cachet. They are going to be royals. People are always going to now be interested in Harry and Meghan. I think what you really want is for them to just be quiet and go away. No, no, I no, no, they, no, 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 Even no, if no. they were stripped no. of the title... You are completely if misrepresented. they speak no. out, for instance, no. about politics, no. 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 that's still going to be embarrassing you know for what? the Queen. I would want them to isn't be... Isn't it? Even I if want they don't to... have the titles. No, I want them to make a completely cream blade. Go and get the freedom you say you want. Mm. That means you don't keep all the titles which give you all the value and make people interested in you. You have to live off being Meghan and Harry. I if your theory, could. If your theory's right... I think they could. If your theory's right, they can go and make as much money and spout mm. off as much as they like but they can't do it while they have royal titles. I think even if the titles go, they would be an embarrassment. It is damaging to the integrity and neutrality of the monarchy. Mm -hmm. And I value the monarchy, I'm afraid, and Her Majesty the Queen mm -hmm. a lot higher than Meghan Markle in her Santa Barbara man mansion. Mm. spewing off about politics and taking big TV deals. Well, he remains royal. That ain't the royal. way this works, I'm afraid. And someone's got to stand up for it and support the monarchy and the Queen because they're the ones getting damaged. But don't you think that if Prince Harry loses his prince and his Duke title and still speaks out about politics, don't you think, because of who he is, that's still going to be I think if he says I'm queen? giving up all the titles, I'll be speaking as an individual citizen, that's fine. Do it's you think that yes. would be fine? They might still get criticised. They, they might would. still be... Held. Yeah, but that's... Sorry, that's what happens to any public figure, mm. to any celebrity. They're yeah. going to get criticised, whatever. But what they won't be in a position of being is rankly hypocritical. It it's the hypocrisy, make it which I think the, the British Queen. public are sick and tired of. It's the hypocrisy of these people who spent last year telling us, you've all got to watch your carbon footprint, and then jumped on Elton John's plane like, a, like it was a private taxi service, who then, you know, say, right, we're not going to let you have any details about the birth of our son, and then the son pops up in the videos from the Santa Barbara mansion when it suits them to promote their brand, and so on and so on and so mm. on. It's I just hypocrisy. don't think once they've lost their titles, you'll stop criticising them. Let me them. tell you, Duchess of Sussex likes that title. It's what makes her the money. Before she met Harry, she was just a star of a TV show called Suits. I took her into my local pub in Kensington. Nobody recognised her. No one recognised her. I was well, and what all, happened in that pub, I was getting Morgan? all the eyeballs. <laughs> well, then she met Harry that, that night, the last I ever heard from her. She's a piece of work, like I keep and telling you. it's hard to get over. Isn't it? No, it's not. I don't give a damn about being friends with Meghan Markle. In fact, the more I've learned about her, the worse it gets. What kind of friend is that? She's just a, that poor bloke who wrote that book. So the, the book Finding Freedom. What's his name? Scobie something? Yes, Omid Scobie. Omid Scobie, yeah. He, he couldn't have written a more umptuous, sycophantic tome in the history of books. It was the biggest smoke-blowing thing you've ever read in your eyes. And yet Megan's dumped him under the bus uh, in the court case with the Didn't have anything to mail. do with it. Right, she's now distanced him. He's been ghosted. <laughs> you can't with Megan. She gets rid of everybody. <laughs> Harry, listen to Donald. But she can't you get need, rid of her title. You need good luck. Get out of there. We should all launch an intervention. <laughs>